Let's get right into calculating the annual return or annual standard deviation for any stock in Excel. And to get started with that, you're going to need the stock prices on a daily basis for a certain period of time. I'm going to be using the uh, ticker SPY, which is the largest S&P 500 ETF, and I'm using the adjusted close prices. Now, adjusted close prices are important because they include dividends and stock splits, so your return calculations will take into account the dividends that the stock pays. I would not use just normal close prices. And so you can get this data by going to Yahoo Finance, and in my example, I'm using SPY, so I'll type SPY, and select that. And now when it pops up, I'm gonna hit historical data, and then I can grab the data for whatever time period I'm interested in by either specifying the starter end date or just selecting, say, a certain period of time. And then once I've got all the data loaded that I want, I'll hit download. And then when I have downloaded the CSV file, I'll open it up and just copy all the adjusted close prices. Now that we have the daily prices, we can go about calculating our daily returns. Because we need to find the annual return, I'm actually going to recommend using the logarithmic returns because they're a lot easier to annualize. And I'll show you how to calculate the logarithmic return for any given day. It's really easy. So there's uh, our data starts right here and we go into the future as it goes down. So to calculate the logarithmic return, we're just gonna do equals ln, and this formula returns the natural logarithm of a number. And we're just going to put the next day's price divided by the previous day's price. And we'll find that from 1031 to 11.3, that our return was about 0.05%. And it's important to note that the stock price does not change on weekends. So it's going to have sets of five days of returns, and then there will skip two days because there's a weekend. And that will come into play later when we annualize. So now to get all of the daily returns, we're just going to hit Control C on our keyboard to copy, arrow to the left, then hit Control Down Arrow to go to the bottom, and then hit Hold Control Shift and hit Up Arrow, and then I'll hit Control V to paste. And so now we've pasted our formula everywhere, and now we have our daily logarithmic returns for every single day in our entire data set. Now that we have our daily returns, we can go about calculating our annual return. And this is quite simple. We can just use the formula that I've put right here. So annual return is equal to the sum of all of the daily returns multiplied by 252 divided by N, where N is the number of days in our period. And so you might be asking, why is it 252? Well, that's the number of trading days in a year once you exclude all of the weekends and the holidays, etc. So this factor is just scaling by the number of years in our sample period. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the number of days, which is really easy. We can use Excel's inbuilt count formula. So we'll say equal to count. And we're just gonna count the number of observations of returns that we have. So we'll start at the top and then hit control shift down arrow and then enter. So that counted the number of trading days of returns that we have here, which is our N. And now that we have N, we can calculate the annual return using equals sum, we'll grab all of these daily returns, so we're summing the entire range. And then, now that we have that, we can multiply by 252 divided by the number of trading days in the period, and we find our annual return to be 11.51%. When it comes to an asset's performance, returns really only tell us half the story. The other half of the story is told by the asset's risk which is most commonly measured by an asset standard deviation. And we can calculate that quite easily using the daily returns and our handy formula right here, which says that annual standard deviation is equal to the standard deviation of the daily returns multiplied by the square root of 252. And the reason that we multiply that daily return standard deviation by square root 252 is that in order to annualize a daily return, you need to multiply it by the square root of the number of periods within that year. So let's use equals standard dev dot s. So you'll see there's dot p and dot s. p is for population, s is for sample. We only have a sample of the returns of the uh, S&P 500. So let's grab this whole range, hitting control shift down arrow, close that, hit enter. 
And now let's multiply it by the square root of 252. And we'll find that our annual standard deviation is 18.01%. And it is actually preferable to have a lower standard deviation than a higher standard deviation because a higher standard deviation implies there's more risk. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to download the file that I created for free, you can do so using the link in the description or the pinned comment. And please like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed and have a great day.